All right, so this is gonna be a quick video comparing the Recluse, good old reliable, tried and trusted, with the new Death Adder that came from the Dudgeon. I would consider this a god roll. Um, so this is what I'm going to be comparing up against the Recluse. Getting right into it, um, they are the same archetype. So for the Recluse first, it is always going to hit 706 when it's in range. And then I've already got the numbers. If we go back here to 15 meters should be the fall off. See, we're hitting 706 right there. Still 15. We move back a little bit, it starts to fall off. So it's got 15 uh, meters worth of range before your damage starts dropping, which is pretty good. Um, let's look at its recoil. pretty straight up mostly vertical it's swaying a little bit to the left you can see there it's not very consistent it's kind of all over the place but mostly I would say it is vertical there's some RNG in there I'd say it kind of it kind of sways a little bit to the left um, and I already did a reload speed timer with my stopwatch and I'll just tell you that it's 1.6 seconds for the Recluse. So, let's swap over to the Death Adder. Um, for this I have Rangefinder, Feeding Frenzy, the same as on the Recluse, Accurize for more range, and of course Corkscrew with the Stability Masterwork. Um, you could probably replace a perk in that last column, but this is likely as good as it's going to get. Um, for whatever reason, I'm not sure what's up with this, but instead of uh, hitting 706, it hits 705. No idea what's up with that. It's the same archetype, but that's just the way it is. Uh, nothing super noticeable. So if we go to the range test, um, let's hit right here at 16. 705. We move back a little bit. There we go. So right in the sweet spot right here at 16. As long as you're aiming and you have rangefinder, it will have an extra meter on it than the recluse does. Let's go ahead and look at the recoil on this bad boy. Very straight up. Look at how neat that is. That one was a little bit more messy. It's kind of random, so you just kind of have to do a few tries. See, it's kind of zigzagging, I'd say. It's swaying back and forth, left to right. But for the most part, as you can see, it is straight vertical. I'd say, just from my experience with this, and a lot of other streamers have confirmed, that it feels a lot better to use the Death Adder than it does to use the Recluse. Its recoil is just a little bit more kept for whatever reason. And after using the Recluse for, let's see here, should be 60,000 kills. Yeah, I can say I like the way that the Death Adder feels a little bit more. Um, I've already timed it, but let's take a look at the reload speed on this compared to Recluse. Not much of a difference. The actual number is 1.7 seconds opposed to 1.6 on the Recluse, so only a fraction of a second difference. You won't even notice it, especially when you're getting those Feeding Frenzy kills and it's making your reload even faster. So overall, what are my thoughts on this? If you can get a god roll, quote, quote, death adder, is it better than the recluse? Not really. Um, something I'd also like to discuss, um, when it comes to replacing the, the recluse, you're not gonna get anywhere close to a perk like Master of Arms. There's just nothing like that on the death adder. But if you're in my case and you're a console player, the recoil is absolutely terrible on these things. It's atrocious. I can't hit headshots for shit. So after they changed the perk to only work for headshots, um, I've never really used Master of Arms anyways. I just use my Recluse for body shots and it works fine. So the Death Adder is a perfect um, equal for me because I never really utilized Master of Arms anyways. Um, PC players probably get a lot more utility out of it, but as for that, 
um, if that's the utility you're trying to go for with it. I think the Death Adder isn't as good as the Recluse, but it's probably the best replacement you're going to get. Uh, Feeding Frenzy, of course, will always work the same on these two. Um, they're the same exact archetype. When you compare the stats here, you can see that Recluse has more range, supposedly. It has more stability, and it has slightly more reload speed. But as I showed in those tests, um, the reload speed is essentially the same. The Death Adder actually has more range, and the stability could arguably be better on the Death Adder. So it's really up to you to decide which one is better. But like I said about Master of Arms, um, once Re once Recluse gets uh, Sunset, there's nothing that's going to replace Master of Arms. So this is the next best thing you're going to get. I feel like the recoil on this, how it kind of goes side to side, is better for when you're getting headshots because it kind of sways you back on target, whereas the Recluse, it really just goes off, up and off to the left. So when you're comparing these overall, I think they're very similar. So if you want to go out and grind a Death Adder from the dungeon, definitely do it. This is going to be my go-to replacement for Beyond Light. I'm going to miss the Recluse, of course, but I am happy with this roll, and I definitely think you should go get one. So that is the video.